right, so this copperhead was hit on the road, and we're going to feed it to oh. King the King Snake. And it's about about oh. the size of him. See, look at that. It's big, so this could be interesting. It's dripping, it's dripping blood on my hand. <laughs> cool. Oh, oh. oh my goodness. Okay. Keep in mind that this is what king snakes eat in the wild, is other snakes. Now, normally snakes, well often snakes won't eat um, a damaged prey item, but king is a very strong feeder. Oh, please try to stop stomping because that's going to scare him and you might not eat. We fed this guy over here? Oh, he looks like a shed here. Shed about a week ago, yeah. It's oh, he's happy. This is one happy snake because this is a big meal. As you can see, it's about. Yeah, it will. It's about the size of. That is his size. There you go. I got a mount too for it so you can set it up on a tripod. That'd be cool. That'd be really cool. So it's got that fish eye effect so you can bring it real close too. Mm -hmm. Hey Steve. Yes. Is it okay if I wipe off the hellbound? Oh, of course it is. Good for it. Now, it's kind of hard to see him, but he's he's working his mouth over the, uh, he's, he's swallowing it pretty fast now. I mean, if you think about it, a snake would be a good meal if you're a snake because it's long just like you are. And it just goes down pretty easy. Do you see it pretty well? Yeah, stand in front of me. He is going quick. Look at that. This will hold him over for about probably a month. I doubt he'll eat anymore for a while. What's that dog for? The skink? Yeah. We're we're moistening it, and I'll also give some to the little turtles over there. They'll they'll love it. Look at him go. Oh goodness. And that's a northern copperhead. Just so you'll know what the markings look like. Just remember those markings. So that you ever see, if you ever see a snake with those markings, the, the brown and tan colored snake, not the black and white one, the brown and tan with the hourglass shaped markings or saddle shaped markings, that's the northern copperhead. If you see one, don't try to don't try to touch it, don't try to pick it up. Because it's venomous and if it bit you, it would hurt a lot. It probably wouldn't kill you. You would go to the doctor and they would give you a shot. It would be a very expensive shot. And then you would be fine. You do or you don't? I don't. No, I don't either. I hate shots. I hate shots. It's pretty amazing how quick he's already eaten half of the snake, isn't it? Do you want to see him? Jake, wait a minute. Come see him. Do you want to see Oh, guys, please try not to jump off the, the thing, okay? Because that vibration scares the snake. He might, he might stop eating. Oh, man. I'm going to let Vincent give a shot. If he stopped eating, would you just like stand there with the snake halfway in his mouth? It, he would regurgitate it. If he gets scared enough, he'll actually regurgitate his meal. Um, because that, a big, yeah, throw it up. Because a big meal slows him down and he can't escape predators. And so his natural response is to just throw it up. And then he can escape. See him? <laughs> Halfway down. Yeah, he knew exactly what it was. Yeah. Of course, anything I put in front of the snake, he grabs. He's a very good feeder. Last night, he grabbed my finger when I was doing a program, and he, he bit me. There's a little tiny pinprick there, but it's fine. I just put hand sanitizer on it. Kept on that would feel like a Yeah, like five or six little pinpricks. If he's a bigger snake, if he was like a, um, you know, like that uh, um, bow over there. I mean, that python over there, it would hurt a lot more, but have the same exact result, just treat it with some antiseptic and it would be fine. Oh boy, he is, he's slowing down a little bit now because he's got so much of that snake in his body. Now what what he'll do is he'll actually fold the snake over inside of his stomach. Really? Yeah. His stomach has that ability to it stretches, and he'll be able to fold that copperhead over inside of him. And he'll be so stretched when he's done eating that it's cr it's just crazy that they can do that.
that snake blood right there? Probably coming out of the um, the snake he's eating because as he bites it, you know, his teeth are punching little holes in it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there'll be a little blood, but not much. Snakes like to be they like to be pretty clean when they eat their food, so that's why they don't like to eat food that's damaged. Because you know, if it's damaged, it's gonna have bones sticking out, and the bones will scratch its throat as it's trying to swallow it. So. Like backing up into the wall. <laughs> yeah, he's he's help he's using he's using his body, his muscles in his body to push the snake down into his stomach. I guess that's probably why he's doing what he's doing there with stretching his body up. I'm not really sure. That's pretty bizarre, isn't it? I don't know what he's doing with that. Oh, and he fell over. Maybe he doesn't like this camera and crowd. <laughs> yeah, I just want to eat. <laughs> Oh, he's twitching. That was an interesting little twitch there. I'm not even going to move my hand because I might scare him. Okay, here he goes. He's going back to eating now. Look at that one. I thought. How does he breathe? He has an extendable glottis. So it would be like if your trachea came all the way up underneath your tongue and that's where it opened. Mm -hmm. And that's where his opens. And he can literally stick it out of his mouth a little bit. So when he's swallowing something big, his trachea can stick out of his mouth, take a breath, and then close. I always wondered what that little thing was. Whoa, that's what that is. That's his trachea. Okay. And, that, and a lot of lizards have it too. And that gives him the ability to swallow really large prey items. Man, that's so just cool. eating this snake. How long before he tells me? A month. Yeah, maybe. Like I was telling the other guys, as soon as he has a really big poop, then he'll be ready to eat. <laughs> snake size one. Exactly. There's still quite a bit of copperhead to go. And he's done it. I've come back 30 minutes later, and King has devoured the copperhead. He's soaking in his water now. That might mean he's getting ready to shed soon, or maybe he's a little bit warm, so he's cooling off. It's hard to even tell that he ate that entire snake. He looks pretty plump, but not as plump as I would have thought. That is amazing. Really cool snakes. All snakes are really cool. Incredible creatures.